Hey guys, we're here to do a, a benchmark test with 294. On the left is the Snapdragon 805, on the right is the Samsung Exynos 5433. Um, they're both running 501. So we'll check that out. One sec. So we'll get out of that for a second. So we'll show you. 501. The one on the left is the N19G and the right is N19C. So we want, I want to do this test and let everyone see. Uh, even though it's not like real life performance, but we'll do it anyway just to see the scores. I haven't been getting good scores at all lately, so we'll see what happens now. So everything is all closed yet. Oh, by the way, we, they both come with 3 gig RAM. The Snapdragon only gives you 2.71. The Xenos gives you 2.77. Um, we'll go into that, we'll open that one up, open that up, like that. So we'll go in, so ready. One, two, three. So it comes with a 5.7 inch quad HD. So it's 2560 by 1440. It's got a 3.7 megapixel front camera, your proximity sensors and etc. LED, your LED light. You got your home button with a fingerprint scanner but it's a swipe base you got your back and then you got your recent app on the left is the volume up and down the right's the power on the back you got a 16 megapixel camera sh uh, 16 megapixel shooter with OIS and your heart rate sensors for S health so we've done the test the button 80% so we'll see what scores we get today and I'm sorry uh, it's a bit noisy here gear the rain because I'm, I'm traveling at the moment I'm in Cambodia, so you're going to hear the rain and stuff. And there's no table, so I have to use my laptop. Make a little homemade table, put a piece of cardboard, so they don't see their names, so I don't get sued. So I've got the Snapdragon on 27, now on to 31% already, and the Xenus just moved up to 27%. Now it's caught up by 31, but the Snapdragon's moved to 35%. But, um... In real life performance and usage, I would recommend the one on the right with the Xenos processor. I've been having way better battery life. I've been getting at least 16 hours off screen time with, the, with, four, four, in, with four hours on screen time. With the Snapdragon, be lucky to get two, two and a half hours on screen time and then within six, seven hours it's gone, dead, off screen time. Because what it is is the quad core on the Snapdragon is 2.7 gigahertz with the Samsung Exynos, it's got an octa-core processor where four of it's 1.2 gigahertz, another four is 1.9. It uses the low cores, so the 1.2 gigahertz. So when it uses the 1.9 for intense graphic gaming and multitasking, whatever stuff like that you're doing for it, you know, then it would use the higher one. But when it's not, it's using the low core, so you get a better battery life. That's what I've noticed, and a lot less laggier than the Snapdragon 805. So we've got the 805. Boom, straight through, done. It's doing the 2D um, graphic test now. With the Xenus still on 61, or well, 63%. So we'll see. Now it's just moved on to the 2D graphic test. The Snapdragon 805 is moving on to the 3D. And if you guys are wondering, this is the bronze color. They don't have it much in many countries, but in Cambodia they have it. So I got myself a bronze one. But I would recommend the Xenos processor Note 4 over the Snapdragon 805 Note 4. So now the Xenos is doing the 3D test. So it's starting to catch up a little bit. It's not getting that far behind. So well, we'll see what we'll get on the first score. We'll do it three times. Just to see. Because the most score I got, got on the Snapdragon 805 was 51,000, but I haven't got that again. So, right now, not good scores. So it's, we're going to this details. 47,352. I'll turn the Wi-Fi on. And on the right, even worse scores. 41,533. I'll put that on first. 
So we'll do another test. Okay, we'll do another one. We're gonna test again. We'll let it run. So the Xenus has gone boom, straight up to 10%. I've started both at the same time. Now the Snapdragon's caught up. Now Xenus, the Xenus processes seem to start off a lot better. But then halfway through the Snapdragon just hammers through. let the scores go as you can see and um, you know soon I'll be getting my note 5 I'll be and since you know after the S6 they're using only one processor the, the 7420 you know so there's not going to be a Qualcomm version of the note 5 just all Samsung Xenos processor as I recommend over the Snapdragon any day but if there was, I'll get two, like I'll just get one and um, then I'll do my review, my unboxing review within like three, four days. They're both on 40% now, as you can see. They're both, you can see the Snapdragon's caught up. So which one we got a 50% first? Oh, we'll check the 55 Pixinos, now the Snapdragon. Yeah, sorry about the noise, since I'm in Cambodia, and windows aren't windows here. Because they don't have glass, and it's just noisy, and, and what you hear in the background is the rain and other people walking by and stuff. Boom! Xenos done the 2D test first and then the Snapdragon followed behind. But I recommend Xenos any day, so yeah. This is my homemade table as there's no good tables here. You can use a normal chair, put a laptop on it, a piece of wood so it doesn't show the name of the laptop so I don't get sued. Now 3D test, uh, 3D benchmark test now. Bang! Followed by the Snapdragon, not that far behind at all. So we'll see what scores get this time. And then we'll do one more and two to test after that. As you can see, they're about even. Nope. This is the marble white color on the left, and you get the bronze color on the right. Boom, bad scores, bad scores. I already know, bad scores. You got 38,510 on the right, 46,211. We'll do one more test again, but I'll get out of it first. Make sure everything flows. Yep. No internet. Um, we do one more test. One, two, three. Damn, it's hot here. It's like seven fifty-seven p.m. now here. And it's raining, but it's hot, I'm sweating bullets. And I'm using um, my uh, wife's S6 Edge camera to see how good it does. I'm only recording in full HD, 30 frames per second, but anyway. 
So they're on 18% now. 22% to the Xenos first. Snapdragon's just moved to 22%. What can I say about the phone? They're both decent phone. The only thing I love about the Note 5 is no removable back, no removable battery, no expandable SD card, and they've moved the IR blaster. So I don't know what the hell Samsung is thinking. They must be out of their mind. But we'll see, you know. And a smaller battery in it as well. Oh, the Snapdragon's moved to 35% first, and now they've seen us, but anyway. Yeah. And the battery is a lot smaller than Note 5, 2000 milliamp, but we'll see when we get it. Supposedly, you get longer battery life than the Note 4 and the Note 5, so when I'll get down to the unboxing, we'll see, I guess. And I'll do a, I'll use the phone for a whole day or two, and I'll do it for my um, full reviews of the Note 5. So they're both on 61% old world, the Xenos has moved to 63 and the Snapdragon. Not that far, bloody mosquitoes. So they're on to the 2, 2D benchmark test now. And now uh, every time I do the benchmark test, some 2 2 test should I say, off camera I tend to get really good scores, but when I do it on camera, I get badass scores. I don't, think, I don't think it likes to be on camera, these phones. Now it's on to the 3D benchmark test now. There we go. So at the casinos leading. Qualcomm not that far behind. Normally Qualcomm snapping should blister it. Bad scores again. What's going on? Oh, even worse scores. But anyway, in real life performing performance and usage, it it's not as bad, but I don't recommend the Snapdragon 8 or 5. I recommend the Xenos Note 4, the 5433 processor, and they should turn on 64 bit. You know what I mean? But anyway, I hope you guys like it. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm new to this piece out, and you know, don't jump onto iOS, stick with Android people. See ya.